Hi guys, welcome back to Eat Your Kappa with me Nambi. In today's video, I'm going to be making pork. Finally, I get my hands on pork. It's been ages. It's so difficult to source meat at this difficult time. And today I'm going to be making pork boro style with potatoes. Also, please stay safe guys and stay indoors. The cases here are surging like crazy. It's almost 80,000 here. Uh, and I don't know in the next few weeks or months whether we'll be able to go out or not. So stay indoors and stay safe and take care. The ingredients required are 1 kg of pork, 2 medium sized potatoes cubed, 2 large onions, 10 to 15 chilies coarsely pounded, 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of mustard oil, 1 tablespoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric which I forgot to add it in the screen and salt to taste. This is what the dish is called in Boro. Uh, I don't think I can pronounce this, so my friend Mijing from the Boro community is going to pronounce it for you. Heat some mustard oil in the cooking pot. Saute the onions till translucent. Then add in the meat. Add the required amount of salt. Allow the meat to cook and develop some color and let the water in the meat dry out. Then add your coarsely pounded chili and ginger garlic paste. Then add in the potatoes. Add some turmeric for color. Now add the cumin powder as well. Pour some water and allow the potatoes to cook. I am making use of the instant pot and I am so impatient so I am going to be pressurizing it for 10 minutes. Ten minutes is up. Looks like the dish is ready. It looks so delicious and the potatoes have gotten so soft. You can mash some potatoes if you want a thick gravy and you can serve this with hot steamed rice. Thank you so much for watching Eat Your Kappa. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next episode with more amazing recipes from the Northeast. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. Oh my god, I'm so many saying so many ads. <laughs> also, if you haven't sent an email to me with your recipes yet, please do send an email. I do love to feature those uh, recipes on my show and you, the credit will obviously go to you so please send me an email at eatyourkappa at gmail.com until then stay safe stay close and take care